So today I'm going to show you how you make this beautiful thing and you're gonna need four of these little cube octahedrons and I won't show you how to make those because Magnanaut has an excellent tutorial for them I'll uh, put you the link in the description and you need six of those and I'm going to show you how you make these pieces so you start off by making one of these little hexagon things and you're gonna need nine pieces for uh, one of the subunits uh, I made them before and then you just connect them like this okay I'm going uh, to show it a little bit more close to the camera okay and then you just go on and link five of them. By the way, these pieces you can make as big or small as you want, uh, depends on how many magnets you want to uh, use. So, and once you're finished the one side, you turn it over and start connecting them downwards the other side. So you get this little corner in the middle. And it's, uh, it is important that both lang uh, both uh, both sides have an even length. So, and now you've one of these. Once you have built all of the subunits, you have to connect them. Uh, so you take one cube octahedron and one corner. And I think it's the easiest way to start on the bottom, on the outside to stabilize this whole thing a little bit and then the other side and after you've done that you will uh, just fill in the middle Oops. Don't mind if it's uh, not su not successful the first times because uh, that's a little bit tricky. Um, yeah, you have just to practice that. And that's the first connection. So um, next thing you're going to do is attach the next cube octahedron to this thing. And I will show you how to do it just the same way. And again, you start on the outside, then fill in the middle, and at last you uh, put on the top magnets, and you have completed the second connection. Yeeha! And now you just have to go on and put the next two corners on.
and now you have finished the first triangle or whatever that is and you may have noticed that you have left exactly half of your subunits and guess what <gasps> you make the exact same thing a second time uh, and now you have to connect them with one, uh, one of these uh, hexagons just like that Oops. and you can see that's a little bit unstable and we are going to fix that there you're just going to add more layers so um, yeah, the three last corners uh, will appear Once you've added these last three balls, you have completed the first inner corner. And then you just go on and finish the other two. And you've already completed this. Last thing you need to do is remove these two balls inside there. Um, so you have a perfect pattern. That's That can be a little bit tricky and maybe have to um, change the polarity of the, uh, of the chain of magnets you use. Uh, depending on which side you want to remove. So, and once you've done that, last thing you have to do is make a little triangle and add it on the corners. Well, you're finished! Have fun with it!